so the um, the next thing we get on to is disarmament which was um, supposed to be a job of the League of Nations however there were certain treaties that um, were done outside of the League of Nations which helped disarmament to happen in the 1920s uh, the first one is the Washington Naval Agreement and um, this was a, a big fear of Great Britain that they would get dragged into a naval race with America it was um, a fear of America as well and um, the Japanese were building or attempting to build a large navy in addition so that was a worry mainly for America um, so they decided to do something about it now it was easier to disarm navally because um, it was easier to count the amount of ships and judge which ones are offensive uh, a battle fit, battleship is an offensive weapon there's no two ways about that and in 1921 five countries met to discuss what was going to happen um, in terms of disarmament in the um, on the seas and what came out of it was a, a ratio whereby America would have five for every five ships America would have Britain would also have five Japan would have three uh, France would have 1.75 and so would Italy and the reasons for this is because both Britain and America were supposed to be two ocean powers they both had the Pacific uh, so they, they both had um, the Atlantic and America had the Pacific and the Britain had the Indian Ocean whereas the Japanese only had one ocean to patrol and that was the Pacific um, America was more worried about Japan and um, they and the, the Japanese were upset that they only got this um, the three in the ratio uh, Britain were kind of worried that they were now not the biggest navy on the planet um, but uh, it was generally seen as a, a success because it was a step towards disarmament okay the other thing that was agreed was the size of the ships were not allowed to be over 35,000 tons I believe and the size of the guns on ships were not allowed uh, and there was to be a moratorium so no more capital ships were allowed to be built, be built for 10 years however um, even though aircraft carriers including that destroyers and cruisers weren't so there was kind of a little bit of a naval race afterwards uh, for Britain this was good because they didn't want to spend as much money on the military as they were doing before the wars both politically and also for economic reasons they had their 10 year rule if you remember um, so generally quite a good thing the other part of the treaty was the um, agreement about the Pacific and America was like I said very um, wary about Japan and didn't trust them now Britain had an alliance since 1902 with Japan and America wanted Britain to give this up so they proposed a four power treaty this time not with Italy um, just with France, Britain, Japan and America to uh, keep the status quo in the Pacific area and talk to each other if anything happened again this is outside the League of Nations America weren't in the League of Nations um, and this has been controversial because some people say Britain should never have done this and uh, given up their allies in Japan and others have said that they should have because they were faced to choose between America and Japan and America seemed to be the strongest power at this time Churchill was one of those however Churchill was half American uh, his mother was American so he would say that um, the final bit of the treaty was a nine power treaty regarding China um, 
and that was called the Washington System. But the main two parts are the Naval Agreement and the Four Power Treaty about Pacific, which replaced the 1902 agreement between Japan and um, Britain, the bilateral agreement, which meant more than a Four Power Treaty.